Hey you guys, happy Wednesday. I thought I would do things just a little bit differently today. Um, if you guys follow my blog, you know that every Wednesday I do what I call What'd You Eat Wednesday and I post a picture of every single thing I ate that day. I thought today I would do things a little differently and make a video for my YouTube channel about what I ate today. Um, so it's seven o'clock in the morning, I'm driving to work and I have to let you know that you already missed the first thing I ate. I did eat a piece of toast and I don't have it on film, but I did take a picture of it. So I will show you guys that later or on my blog. Um, and hmm, I think that's it so far. Oh, I did drink a cup of coffee and I didn't take a picture of that either. Sorry. Here's my second cup of coffee in a travel mug. We'll just count that. I did have two cups of coffee. I'm not very good at this whole vlogging my food thing. As you can tell, I'm driving to work right now, so it's probably not very safe for me to talk to a camera. Um, but when I get to work, I will show you what I packed for lunch. So I just wanna show you guys what I packed for lunch because obviously I'm not going to film what I eat at work. Um, so here is a salad that I made last night at my grandma's house because she was nice enough to chop up all of these delicious vegetables and I just think the colors are so pretty and it makes eating a salad easier when somebody else makes it for you. Um, and then I brought these little mini muffin quiches and I'll show you how to make those on Friday. I think I'm going to post a video if I can get it edited in time. And then I also have fruit salad with um, cantaloupe, pineapple, and um, kiwi. That's what those are called. Um, and then I have this green smoothie that I'm going to drink when I get to work at my desk. Hey you guys, I'm back! It is about 12.30. I decided that instead of going to the gym this afternoon, I would come to Whole Foods to um, get some stuff for dinner tonight. Because I've been thinking back to the past Wedge Eat Wednesdays, and I think we have breakfast for dinner a lot on Wednesdays. And I think the reason for that is by the time Wednesday comes around, nobody's feeling creative and they just want something that tastes good really fast which breakfast for dinner tastes amazing and I love it. It's like the best meal ever. But for the sake of switching it up a little bit, I decided tonight we will not have breakfast for dinner. Um, so I'm going to the store to buy some stuff for tacos. Uh, my brother's home for dinner tonight and he's not always home for dinner because he works after school. So I decided I'd make something he likes and everybody likes tacos, right? So Whole Foods is kind of like a playground for people who love real food or love like eating healthy foods or watch what they eat. And I love going to Whole Foods. It is so much fun. Um, I feel kind of guilty because I'm skipping the gym, but not really because I'm coming here to spend money on really, really healthy food. So that's my excuse. Anyway, my goal today is to not spend more than $15 at Whole Foods because I need, I need to get grass-fed beef and I need to get the taco shells and I want to get the organic corn taco shells um, because all we have at home is like the normal like conventional non-organic ones but 70 to 80 percent of corn in the United States is genetically modified and I try to avoid eating GMO anything especially GMO corn because what has been changed in the corn to genetically modify it is um, and I don't know like all the scientific terms or whatever, but basically they've genetically engineered this corn to produce a pesticide internally to keep the bugs away. Um, my issue with that, the main issue I have with that is that people who use pesticides and people who say that there's nothing wrong with pesticides say just wash the pesticides off your produce. That's fine. Like you can just wash it right off. But how do I wash the pesticides off of the corn's DNA. I, I don't know. My sink isn't that powerful. So you tell me, how do I wash genetically engineered corn DNA out of the corn? I don't know how. These taco shells are only $2.79. I don't even think that's that expensive. I don't even know. I have to look online and see how much the normal ones are, but I don't think these are that expensive. Not bad Whole Foods. 
Okay, I got everything I needed. Um, I did spend a little bit more money than I planned on. I don't know if you guys can see this. Focus, camera, focus. Okay, so I spent $17.68, but I didn't spend more money on the stuff I thought I would spend more money on, if that makes sense. The grass-fed beef was only $6.99 a pound, which probably sounds like a lot to you for a hamburger, but um, it's usually like $4 a pound, $3.99 a pound at a normal grocery store for just regular um, ground beef, but grass-fed beef is a lot more expensive. So at Stop and Shop, where I normally do my grocery shopping, grass-fed beef is $9.99 a pound. So I was surprised by that. Um, and then the taco shells were not that bad either. I think they were like $2.79 because I got the Whole Foods store brand, but like other brands were like four or five dollars. So that wasn't as bad as I expected. Um, what did I spend a lot of money on? This is <laughs> organic cumin or cumin. I don't really even know the right pronunciation, um, but I always read that it's cheaper to buy spices in bulk. And this was like $1.49 an ounce or something. So I didn't think it would be that expensive, but I guess I got a lot of it because it came out to be like $3.50 for this little bag. Um, and then, so this just shouldn't really count in the total, but I got two cans of these cannellini beans because I'm going to try to make my mom make this really good kale and white bean soup that um, I have the recipe on my blog and it's so good. So I bought her the beans to make that at some point this week and then I also bought myself a treat of coconut water I love coconut water this is like so refreshing people I know like Ryan and a ton of my friends hate coconut water they think it's nasty but I love it okay so I made sure to get the organic taco shells um, to avoid the GMOs and I was trying to explain it before but it probably came out all jumbled but the reason that I try to avoid GMOs and pesticides, I try to buy organic produce and organic food when I can afford it, um, is because we know for a fact that exposure to pesticides causes cancer. And the argument is how much exposure causes cancer. Um, and scientists who say pesticides are safe say that that threshold is pretty high, but um, the president's cancer panel says that we should reduce all of our exposure to pesticides as much as we possibly can because they think that threshold is much lower than the FDA does. So I got the organic corn tortilla shells. Um, okay, so that is all I bought at Whole Foods. I have to go back to work now, but I will see you at dinner time. All right, you guys, I'm about to leave work. Good news and bad news. <laughs> Good news is I am like an hour and a half away from eating a delicious taco dinner and I can't wait because I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Um, but the bad news is my car reeks of taco seasoning because of the cumin I bought in bulk. Obviously the little plastic baggie is not enough to contain the smell. So hopefully my car does not smell like cumin for the rest of its life. Finally home. What are you doing in the sink? Meow. Yeah? What are you doing in the sink? Meow. I know, me too. But a happy hump day, right? Right? Meow. Okay, see you later. Okay. First things first, I have to change. The very first thing I do when I get home from work is come in my room and change into my pajamas. Yeah, I know it's only like 6.30. It's pajama time. This is Fido. He likes to hang out in the sink. I don't know why. He likes it when you turn the water on like really lightly. Oh, like that's too much. Oh, see, didn't like that. Come on. Come on, kitty kitty. Maybe he's camera shy. Okay, let's start cooking. Taco shells, taco shells. Um, preparation for crispy tacos. 
place shells on baking sheet and warm in a 425 degree preheated oven for two to three minutes. Okay, we don't need to do that yet though. Um, do do do. Bake. Four twenty-five, and got our meat. And I'm. This is definitely fine, even though it was sitting in my car for a few hours because it's like thirty-eight degrees outside, which is like the temperature of a refrigerator. So I'm just gonna cook this. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix up some homemade taco seasoning instead of using this stuff from the package. I made a blog post about this a while ago and I'll put it in the link in the description below. Um, but I'm gonna do it differently this time because we can't find the onion powder. So I'm gonna use garlic powder instead because that'll probably be fine, right? Okay. So I have a whole recipe on how to do this, but I think basically when I've done it before without the recipe, you just do equal parts cumin, chili powder and um, onion powder, but I'm using garlic powder. So I'm gonna do like half a teaspoon of each for a pound of meat. Okay, so now we have homemade taco seasoning. All right, like T minus two or three minutes. Tacos are so easy to make. Ooh, this is gonna fog up the camera lens. Um, they're so easy to make. All I did was put one pound of grass-fed beef into this pan. I've just been cooking it for a few minutes. Have my taco seasoning here that I just made, and it, honest to God, took me like less than 30 seconds to make this taco seasoning, and the health benefits are so much better than using this stuff in the packet. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in there, and I'm not even gonna drain the fat, because since this is grass-fed beef, um, it's really healthy fat. Okay, so when I was in elementary school, we sang this song about tacos in our chorus, and I'm gonna try and get my mom and my brother to play along. Um, before they can eat these tacos, they have to help me sing this song. <laughs> Here's my brother, Harry. He's gonna help me sing the song. Harry. So there are three parts. There's a soprano part, an alto part, and then a tenor bass part. Uh -huh. And um, we all sing different words to like kind of the same beat. So. <laughs> The tenor part, which I think you should do, is guacamole. I could probably do that. Okay, you say it over and over again. It's guacamole. Okay, mom, you're the alto, and you sing taco salad, taco salad, taco salad. Try it. Taco salad. Come on, give it a little oomph. Harry, do the guacamole, mom, do the taco salad. Ready? Fajita, fajita. Fajita, fajita, fajita. Okay, it's time to eat tacos. I'm done. <laughs> All right, here's the finished product. I'm not even going to try and film myself actually eating these tacos because that would not be pretty. All right, you guys, the kitchen is clean. It doesn't even look like anybody just made tacos in here. I'm going to eat one of these homemade almond joys and then edit this video and probably go to bed. So thanks for joining me for What'd You Eat Wednesday. I know it was a little different this week, but I hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and check out my blog, frugalfoodiefrank.com.